how lovely is your dwelling place. O God Almighty, my soul yearns in evil face for the courts, for the courts of the Good morning and welcome here to Stanton for this uh, All Together all together Worship on All Saints Day. It's a great pleasure to welcome you all here together. And we're, as Alvin said the other day, we are All Saints, so it's most appropriate for this morning. Hopefully you have the liturgy in front of you, just a few different changes today being All Saints Day. Let's have a moment of quiet as we recognise that we are in almighty God's presence. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
together, let us confess to God our, the sins and shortcomings of the world. It's pride, it's selfishness, it's greed, it's evil distortions and hatreds. And let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for all his children. We say together, Lord, Lord God, God, we, we have, have sinned against, against you. you. We, we have done evil in your sight. We, we are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore to us the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is with us. He is our stronghold. God will help at the break of day. The Lord is with us. He is our stronghold. God will help us at the break of day. God is our refuge and strength, ready to help whenever we are in trouble. God will help at the break of day. We will not fear, even if the earth shakes and the mountains topple into the sea. God will help at the break of day. Come now and look at the works of the Lord, the awesome things he has done on earth. God will help at the break of day. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. God will help at the break of day. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is with us. He is our stronghold. God will help at the break of day. Collect for today, All Saints Day. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. In my weakness I cried to the Lord. He heard me and saved me from my troubles. Let us exalt his name together. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together.
Jesus saw the crowds and went up a hill where he sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. Happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are those who mourn. God will comfort them. Happy are those who are humble. They will receive what God has promised. Happy are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires. God will satisfy them fully. Happy are those who are merciful to others. God will be merciful to them. Happy are the pure in heart. They will see God. Happy are those who work for peace. God will call them his children. Happy are those who are persecuted because they do what God requires. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are you when people insult you and persecute you and tell all kinds of evil lies against you because you are my followers. Be happy and glad for a great reward is kept for you in heaven. This is how the prophets who lived before you were persecuted. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, being All Saints Day, our minds naturally turn to those famous figures, the heroes of our faith. Those images that we can find in carving statues or here in our church looking down from the stained glass windows. These great men and women are very much pillars of our church. Yet when it comes to putting heroes on pedestals, who could have predicted what kind of year we'd have since our last Saints' Day? This has been a year that's put some people on pedestals and knocked others off. On one hand, we have Black Lives Matter, the protests that have cast a critical spotlight on some figures. Those that have been immortalised on public memorials in our towns, cities and on public buildings. We saw in Bristol the statue of the slave trader Colston torn down and thrown into the river. And the fate of other statues are now in question, like that of Cecil Rhodes. But then there are the more ambiguous characters, like Winston Churchill, who no one could argue did great good, but who also had his flaws. Even some saints are now being reconsidered. Yet on the other hand, we've put new people on pedestals. People that pre-Covid we may have taken for granted or even ignored. One memorable feature of the early days of the pandemic was our clap for carers, where we recognised the courage and skill of medical staff and the dedication of key workers, such as bus drivers and supermarket staff. They have been the heroes of 2020, and it is right that we have honoured them. But there is a challenge here, because putting our people on pedestals is a dangerous game. Firstly, because this fails to acknowledge that people are both good and bad, and that includes the heroes we make and unmake. The second danger is that we can think that taking someone off a pedestal is enough, that taking down a statue is all it takes to solve chronic injustices, that calling care staff heroes lets us off the hook when it comes to a properly funded NHS, social care system or fair wages, that recognising key workers like bus drivers somehow compensates for the disproportionate death rate in that and other professions. It doesn't. And today on All Saints Day, lifting up our saints in celebration so that we can learn by their example is not enough. Because their lives invite us to make our own response. Like those I've already mentioned, The saints weren't perfect. They were like us, both good 
and bad. It's just that for them, although it might have been tricky, God's power won out in the end. The gospel values of gentleness, justice and compassion shone through them, even though it may have been a struggle. Today, as we focus on and celebrate the saints who have gone before us, we should feel challenged. How will we live out the values of the Beatitudes we heard in our reading this morning? For all their undoubted weaknesses, the saints somehow let God's power shine through them. How is God calling us to do the same?
we believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of God and he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we come to our intercessions, when I say, Father, by your Spirit, please can you respond with, bring in your kingdom. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. We indeed pray for the coming of God's kingdom. You sent your Son to bring good news to the poor, sight to the blind, freedom to captives and salvation to all your people. Anoint us with your Spirit. Rouse us to work in his name. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Send us to bring help to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. Father, by your Spirit, Bring in your kingdom. Send us to tell the world the good news of your healing love. Help us to be your healing hands to those in need this day. We lift before you those who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Send us to those who mourn, to bring joy and gladness instead of grief. To share your hope that you have set before us all of a place with you, where there is no more pain, tears or suffering. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Send us to proclaim that the time is here for you to save your people. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in mind and heart to serve you in Christ the Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
who kindled the fire of his love in the hearts of the saints, pour upon you the riches of his grace. Amen. Amen. May he give you joy in their fellowship and a share in their praises. Amen. Amen. May he strengthen you to follow them in, in the way of holiness and to come to the full, full radiance of glory. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and rest with you and all those that you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, in the name of, of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Oh